Greetings everyone, it's Kane here. Welcome to my video. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about if you have these three, you should be grateful. And even if you don't, you should be grateful. So let's jump right down to it. Number one is, if you live in the first world country, now this is something we cannot control. You are born where you're born, you know. But if you are born in the first world country, you should be grateful. Number two is if you have a vehicle. Many of us don't realize how important a vehicle is in our day-to-day -day lives. You know, you take care of that vehicle, it will take care of you. Having a vehicle gives you freedom. I don't know how you guys do it out here without a vehicle. The Shoelace Express gets old real fast, guys. Especially if you experience having a vehicle. It's honestly what makes you a man out here in a first world country. If you don't have a vehicle and you're a man, I don't know. Number three is you have a full-time job that you're content with and benefits you. Now, many of us have had work that we did not, we did not like, you know, from our first job, you know, maybe some, maybe there are a few of you that had a first job that you are still working to this day and you are content with. But uh, most of us have experienced work that we did not like, that we dread, that we hate, that is an absolute mess that is dysfunctional to our mental and physical health. And uh, if you truly, if you have something that you are content with, that gives you balance, you should be truly grateful. So guys, if you have those three, and I would pretty much say most of us, many of us do, if you live in the United States or in a first world, first world country, you should be truly grateful. You should have gratitude like no other. A lot of us have these, but are not grateful. Now, for those of you who do not have these three, you know, you're born in a third world country, uh, you know, it's a lot harder to develop gratitude. You know, I completely understand, which is why I'm truly grateful to be where I'm at. <sighs> My grandma was born in Mexico and she uh, came over here, you know, and uh, I'm just truly grateful. I'm sure my dad is, I'm sure, yeah. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, even if you don't have these three, you know, it's uh, more of a mental challenge. You know, it's hard to go on Instagram and see them, a beautiful woman living extravagant like no other, buying their own house at age 20, you know, and uh, being spor sporadic and frivolous with their spendings. You know, um, someone from a third world country probably won't see that, but for those who do, it could be quite a challenge and mentally it could drain you. So you're gonna have to develop gratitude. You know, self-development is gained. You know, uh, you just got to swim through the bullshit, guys, unfortunately. But, you know, uh, everything unfolds as it should. That's when you have to think open and see the bigger picture of things. But if you do have these three, guys, you should have gratitude like no other. Whew, it is hot today. It is 90 degrees. 
I'm currently going to get a workout in, parked under a shady tree. I thought I'd talk about this subject real fast. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I think that's pretty much all I got. I'm truly grateful. This is coming from a guy who lives in his vehicle. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I finally got to this point in my life, you know, where I appreciate everything, even if it's nothing major. So on my YouTube channel, I could put memberships now uh, on my YouTube studio app. I found that I could have members and super chats. So if you guys are interested, you know, everything's appreciated. I hope you realize the energy I put into these videos. You know, they don't take too much work, but they are some expenditure of energy. And this is something I like to provide for you guys. I'll inspire you day to day, which I'm trying to do. Upload day every day. Sometimes I'm trying to do more than that. You know, I really enjoy this. I want this to be uh, a little side hustle. You know what I'm saying? This is awesome. I've always, I've always loved YouTube ever since I was a little boy. I remember back in 2011, how cool YouTube was, you know, to customize your page. It was so much cooler, but it's still cool. You know anyway guys uh, thought I share this with you living in the first world country for those of you who are just born in it and haven't realized a third world country you know I can understand why you, you kind of uh, are not grateful you're ungrateful and you become a hypochondriac, you know, start believing in conspiracy theories and going way out there. But think small. Think logically. Have critical thinking skills and appreciate what you got. Why am I so grateful for living in the first world country? Well, I have done research on third world countries. You know, I simply like history. And uh, I've been to... New Mexico Indian tribes and it's pretty much like a third world country and I'm just truly grateful for the amenities that I do have you know I get free drinking water I get a free gym membership I you know I um I'm truly grateful I have there's hospitals good hospitals I got uh grocery stores with every produce on this planet known to man you know uh these are things you got to be grateful guys this is not no flea market with a bunch of flies and some guy getting a, a damn fish cutting its head off and then you put it in a bag and take it home. You know, this is not that kind of shit. You don't even need to eat meat here in the first world country. You could be plant-based and and uh, be completely healthy without clogging your arteries and living longer for as long as you possibly can. Developing yourself internally and externally and uh being compassionate simple and having patience and developing frugality all right everyone thank you guys for watching oh man i just want to go to sleep i just want to roll down my windows and hit the hay i'm just not feeling it. i took my vega pre-workout but i don't know i think from uh i don't know i gotta push myself once I start getting that little sweat in, I'll feel better. Getting some blood flow. Alrighty, everyone. Thanks for watching.